Hey, what's going on everybody? Suru here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have another broken method for you. As you guys know, Storybook Veil vale has been incredible, but it's come with so many bugs and exploits. I taught you guys just the other day how to farm up literally unlimited memory orbs. Well, today I'm going to share with you how I have been farming up all of my, my snippets. And I got to tell you, this is such a broken method that anybody that owns Storybook Veil vale can do. It's actually relatively cheap. Now, if you guys do enjoy my content, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Only 55% of people that watch my content are subscribed. That means 45% of people that don't have that bell rung and have not subscribed may miss out on some stuff like this that could honestly get patched within two hours two days you just never know so go ahead and subscribe i'll keep you guys updated with everything storybook veil vale. but yeah let's jump right into it so as you see i have been spending the entire like literally all night long completing all of these uh pages and i also still have hundreds of these snippets left we have 201 255 on the yellow one the frogs, all the minions, all of them. I have a lot that can sh that shows you how broken this method is. So let me go ahead and teach you how to do this. Okay, so to do this, I got to teach you how it actually works and what's going on. So we have the snippets over there on Storybook Veil. Vale. There is one exclusive type of snippet that spawns only here in Dreamlight Valley, you know, the base valley, which is the white snippet. Now, this one is very important. You actually just saw it fly by. So how the white snippet works is these guys here will spawn in only one biome per real life day. So uh, um, as you just saw, mine is spawning here in Sunlit Plateau. Maybe tomorrow mine are going to spawn over here in the Forgotten Lands. Maybe it's going to be over in the plaza. So it's just one biome per day. And I've only farmed up about like five or so of them. And they seem to like stop spawning or they bug out. But they're very easy to catch as you see. They're just really hard to see and you have to chase them around. So this isn't a very efficient way of getting them because you just can't get enough fast enough. Once you get some, you actually go over to a crafting station and you can turn the white snippets into any of the snippets that you want for a one to one like conversion rate. Go down here to refine materials. You can see like maybe you need one of these pink frog snippets. You only have to spend one white bird snippet. Maybe you need the red bird one over here or the yellow bird. You can do that and change it to any of those, which allows you to take them back to the lore keeper and then purchase the extra puzzles, which are very expensive. Some of these are very hard to get because they're in the last the biomes. So how do we get a bunch of these? Well, this is the answer. All you need is these little contraptions here. Let me show you what they are. So if you go to your crafting station, right? Go to functional items and then scroll down. You're going to see several different types and different colors of these traps. You have these slow traps right here. You got the fall one, the fairy and the Olympic one for each biome. It's just a design. These are all the same. They don't have to be placed in those biomes at all. It's purely for aesthetic purposes. So keep that in mind. So we have the slow traps. We have the snippet repellent. Do not click on these. Do not accidentally craft those for this method. We are going to use this lure trap right here. And again, you can craft any of them. You could craft five of the Olympic ones if you want, one of each or only the basic fall leaves one. So these are actually really cheap. You have to get one magma, one of the mud skipper, 10 volcanic rock and five petrified wood. And you need 500 storybook magic. That is actually really easy to get. Just do your little storybook at details over there and you can get these pretty quickly. Now, you don't have to upgrade these. All you do is place them down in any biome. So here's the great thing. You're probably wondering, well, we have them over in the Sunlit Plateau. Why do you have them on the beach with a lot of them? And that's where one of the glitches and like exploits come in is you can place it in any biome at any part of the day. And it's like bugged out and they're still spawning through these traps. So let's take a look at the trap here. It says regularly generate snippets max capacity of three now you can upgrade it and make it where it holds four we're not going to do that because that's 2500 instead of spending 2500 upgrade this for one i might as well just go craft like five more of these and place them down so all of these are level one they only cost me 500 story uh or 500 story magic and i place them down you can place down as many as you want to generate as many as you want so say you had just two of these placed down 
they will generate um sorry if you have just one place down it will generate every 10 minutes one single snippet so if i have five down it'll generate you know five total in 10 minutes if i did it for 30 minutes that would be 15 minutes I have 13 of these down right now. So every 10 minutes, 13 of these are actually going to spawn for me, which is insane. And I could keep crafting more and more if I wanted to. So just in 30 minutes, I will generate 39 of these. Now, don't forget, you can actually get your buddy here, which I have Hades right here, and he may duplicate some of these. So I can just do this. You may get a mini game. I whacked a few of them. He's going to go over there. They're bugged out right now. That's why he's running away. And then he's going to throw these at me. So we just got to wait. I mean, he's going to keep, he's going to go far all the way till the end of the biome. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these. And we are going to get so many. As you see, it still will trigger these little mini games. And then we can get the rest. And it's going to keep spawning them. So then you would take these over here to your crafting station and um, make what, whichever one you want. So I just got 40 from that, from like half an hour. I just got 40 of these things and they're gonna keep spawning over and over. This is the most broken thing. Now, I know you may be saying like, well, it's almost too broken. You know, it might take away all the fun. Oh my gosh, Hades, chill, bro. <laughs> I need to bring a vacuum over here. But yeah, that is the only downside. You could end up burning through the content too fast doing this method. So I'm just here to provide the information. I'm not here to tell you how you uh, should play. If you want to do that and get these snippets really quickly, go ahead. It also will help out people that um, maybe struggle doing this or these activities or pushing the button down, you know, like going out there and actually catching or holding the button down because we do have those accessibility options over here in the help set, uh, sorry, controls gameplay. Here we go, like tap to sprint or hold the time bend or hold the fish, but we don't have that option, unfortunately for this. So I think this bug could help those players out as well. And um, yeah, it's just up to you whether you want to use this or not. The game is still fun. And even though I've completed all of it, I'm still going to be going around catching snippets as well. I've already caught a ton of them. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get this information out here to you guys because it is just so broken. And you can leave this forever and just keep coming over here and getting them over and over. I know it looks like they're expensive to make, but they're really not. You'll, you'll be surprised how fast you can actually come up with some story magic. And again, like I said, I don't really think it's worth it fully upgrading this because 2500 is so expensive. I would rather use that to just go ahead and craft up more of these. And then, hey, once you have these crafted, they're also really great. Like the way they look, they look pretty cool. I feel like you can include them in a dream snap some way with how you decorate with them. And then you could also just place them in all of your biomes. But that's it for the video. Be sure to subscribe. I don't want you guys to miss out on anything Storybook Veil. Vale. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.